Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome back to Bendy and the Dark Revival, where we have just found Bendy, and we made it to the city, and I'm... Um, city? I'm starting to wonder just exactly how big is this game? Yeah, you, you take it easy there, Bendy. I'm sure nothing important's about to happen. So, yeah, the city. Don't seem to be able to look inside the waste bins. Oh wait, these are oh, some food, which I don't need. Okay, so we'll leave it there for later, in case I do need it. Not really sure exactly what it is I'm supposed to be doing down here, but we'll have a good look around. I heard a strange noise. <laughs> oh, some tokens, I'll take those. Hang on a minute. Do you remember in the first couple of episodes I was saying, wait, this is supposed to be set in the 1970s, but it looks very, very 1920s, 1930s, and people said, quite rightfully, oh, hang on, here we go, this is where, unsafe area, oh, great, yeah. Well, I would be going to the unsafe area, wouldn't I? Looks like we need to find an ID card somewhere around here. Any ideas, Bendy? Right, so I need to find an ID card in order to get to the unsafe area. Can I make a hiding spot? I can, out of that barrel. No sign of any ID card though. But yeah, here's the thing I was thinking. Because the game's supposed to be set in the 1970s. And yet, very early on I was thinking, but all of the architecture and pretty much everything is 1920s, 1930s. And a bunch of you quite rightly pointed out that just because a game's set in the 1970s doesn't mean that there aren't buildings from the 1920s and 30s around, and given that your animation studio is, let's face it, based on Walt Disney, uh, a company that was founded in that sort of era, it wouldn't be unusual to be working in a building built in that era. And yet, some of these cars... Okay, that looks maybe 1970s. But that one, I mean, that's like a Ford Model T, for God's sake. So, oh, I don't know. It's all very confusing. And I'm probably, I'm probably looking too deeply into it all. Let's just shut up and enjoy the aesthetics. Because it is very, very pretty. In a kind of monochromatic way. But then again, I mean... It's an animation studio that was founded in the 1930s. Black and white cartoons. Oh, hello. Nope, nothing in there. Aside from the occasional suspicious noise in the distance, it is all very suspiciously quiet here, isn't it? What's going on, Bendy? Maybe I should follow him. Wait. Oh, now I can look in the boot of the car. Not right. in here. That's another weird thing. We say boot, Americans say trunk. Which, I suppose, makes more sense than saying boot, because originally, the back of a car had a trunk. Mm -hmm. Like a, a big Not old case for storing all of your stuff. Which is why to this day Americans Nothing still call it the trunk. Sorry, Bendy. Oh, Bendy's actually okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. Not in here. Showing us where to look. This one, Bendy. Nothing in here. Let's keep looking. Bendy, you're pretty crap. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I'm sorry, Bendy. I mean, I'll keep looking, but you're not very good at this. And of course, Bendy's in black and white and he doesn't talk because Bendy was a character from the age of silent black and white animated movies, which is pretty cool. Wait, we're really going back to the very first place I tried to look? Yep, there it is. <laughs> right, what's this? blah de blah, blah you don't bring your ID, you ain't getting the work. So I started putting my ID card on my nightstand in my room at the Downside Hotel. Right, okay. Looks like we found a clue. 
So, the Downside Hotel. Where the hell is the Downside Hotel? That's groceries. That's... Ooh. Have at these, uh, yeah, I'm not really scared of these things anymore. At least not when they come at you one at a time. Right, Grand Chops, some kind of food shop. That door was not open earlier, so what the hell was that? Uh, so this must be the way to go. What's this? The beef is people. That's a reference to Soylent Green, isn't it? Um, for those of you who don't get the reference, oh, more city on the other side, right. Uh, yeah, Silent Green was a, a very old science fiction movie based on, I think, a Philip K. Dick book or novel or short story, whatever. Um, the, and I'm venturing into spoiler territory here, although, you know, the movie's older than I am, so <laughs> not much of a spoiler. Charlton Heston movie uh, set in the dystopian future, population's out of control, and everybody was fed on this mysterious food stuff called Silent Green. And it turned out that Solent Green was actually people. When you died, you got mixed up and fed to everybody else. And, well, so much for trying to get a sneaky stealth kill. I wasn't expecting her to actually come into the shop. I thought she might reach the end of the alley, turn around, and I could get a stealth kill. But no, nope, it was not to be. Anyway, stuff. New area. We're looking for the Downside Hotel. Oh, well, now I can look in the trash bins. <laughs> Now that there isn't a quest object hidden inside them. I'm wondering if I could teleport up above, but it doesn't look like it. It's too high. Uh, there's absolutely nothing in all these bins. There it is, downside hotel. Bet, oh, there you are. It looks safe. What are you? Yeah, you just take it easy, Bendy. I'm sure it'll be fine. Some food there. I don't need it now. I'll, I'll try to remember where it is for later. Yeah, food everywhere. Still nothing in the bins though. So what else do we have down here? There's, there's a lot of hiding spots, aren't there? <laughs> this always makes me very suspicious. <laughs> Trying to remember the locations because it has been a while since we saw the Ink Demon. Thankfully, it's been even longer since the Ink Demon saw us. There's another hiding spot there. Right, well, I guess we're going into the hotel. Yes, yes, Bendy, I know. You just take it easy there. We'll be right back. I hope. It's right, here we go. Creepy in here. Nothing behind the counter. The lift is out of order. Can't ring the... Oh, we're... I'm going to have to teleport, aren't I? That's fine. Easy. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Food. Take the battery. Take the tokens. Oh, a vending machine in case I need more food. Now where am I going? Can't open any of these doors. Is there a... A hole in the ceiling? Oh, there it is. Teleporting up again. And, oh, no, I didn't make it, did I? I'm in the same place. Okay, teleporting up again. There we go. Right. The keepers see everything. Oh, there's a stash here. I've got plenty of gent cards. Uh... Can I search that? No. He was looking at me funny. Here we go. Well, geez. oh, gee, you haven't gotten far. Bloody hell, Joey! Don't stop do doing that. that. Wait, how? How did you get in here? Oh, I have my ways. So tell me, how goes the journey? Slow, but I'll get through. Ah. I see you have your father's never-quit-go-getter spirit. Oh, now you knew my father. Well, newsflash, I didn't even know my father. Or my mother. Or anyone else in my family. 
I see then. You've chosen to forget the past. I can understand that. <sighs> what are you talking about? Look, I don't think you're ready for this. But hang on to your lunch money. There's something I want to show you. Wait, what are you doing? All right, Joey, Joey, I'm here, I'm here. Bloody hell, Joey, at least buy me dinner first. What is this? It's supposed to be some kind of memory? Over here, come have a seat. This won't take long. I don't recognise this place. Must be somewhere new. Let's have a quick look around first before we follow him. Uh, yeah, let's stay with the plot. See what Joey wants to show us. All right, I guess he wants me to sit down. Where are we? A very old place, full of memories. But never mind all that. There's a little story you need to hear. You ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, Audrey, there was a bitter old man who had lost just about everything. Joey. Right. The real Joey Drew. He blamed everyone but himself for his mistakes, but mostly he blamed his old business partner for abandoning their work years and years ago. A man by the name of Henry Stein, great artist and a good friend. In his anger, Joey used an evil machine to create another world. A world made of paper and ink, where he'd torment his own version of Henry forevermore. But one day, a miracle happened. An angel came into Joe's life. A young woman by the name of Allison Pendle. She didn't visit often, but when she did, she saw something good in Joey no one else could, including himself. Through their friendship, he began to see the world with better eyes. So one day, in Joey's cartoon cycle of hatred, he gave Henry an angel of his own to guide him when things were most dark, to always provide hope. It was then Joey decided to make something new. Something he had always wanted, but he could never have. A family. But not a cartoon one. Something real. And after many, many tries, he created something that made him happier than he ever could have imagined. A wonderful, loving daughter, bright, Kind, almost human. He created you, Audrey. What? Are you crazy? Listen, I know it's a lot to believe. Who do you think you are? I wasn't born from some machine. I'm flesh and, and blood. I'm not some kind of ink monster. Just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. Believe what we want to believe. Take me back. Right now. I'm not listening to any more of your lies. Remember who you are, Audrey. Leave me alone! <sighs> Ooh. So, Audrey oh, was so born true. of the ink. It can't be. Oh, we're back. Ah... All right, I can get the ID card, but there's no way of getting back to where we were there. So all of those bits, that there were probably some secrets in there that I should have explored and found, which I'm now never going to get the opportunity to do. So if you're playing this game yourself, when that bit happens, don't go and sit in the chair until you've thoroughly explored everything, because there's probably stuff in there that I missed, and... Since there's no way of getting back, it's gone forever. Anyway, we uh, we have the key. Well, the, we have the ID, which effectively is a key. But I'll bet you that the streets are now swarming with lost ones. Because that's just the way this game rolls. Yeah. 
yep. Holy shit, there's a lot. <laughs> well, there's only three, whatever. We've got a fully charged gent pipe. I'll use the, uh, the shock pipe ability. It just does more damage. Right. Taking a bit of damage there, but there was some food up here, wasn't there? Let's, uh, let's go back. I mean, I'm pretty... Yeah, there's a donut there. That's enough. There's a venom machine right next to it, but I don't need it. Right. Are there any more nasties out on the street? They don't appear to be. I think that was all of them, but there's going to be more. We've got to go down this alley through the chop shop and then across the road to the unsafe area to use our ID to get through the door. Uh, you can guarantee that there's going to be more nasties on this street that have suddenly appeared. Uh, uh, yeah, there's one. Just the one. Can I get a stealth kill? I should be able to get a stealth kill. Oh crap, there's another one coming this way. Uh, well, not quite. Yeah, let's get this over and done this quick. That's the potential. The last little bit of my health did. Uh, that one's not looking this way. And we need to be going this direction, not further down the street, because that's the unsafe area that we needed the ID to get through. Right, we're all good. Let's do it. Make your way to the gent building, okay? Oh, I can smash. Yep, can smash. Ooh, what's this? Oh, something's happening. Something's happening. I'm not sure about this. Oh shit. Oh that's that's not there's nowhere to go. What the hell? You know, that's the third. Oh. Colour. Oh fuck off. Bendy is the ink demon. You know, people people have been hinting at that in the comments. Saying things like, it's funny how you never see Bendy and the ink demon in the same place at the same time. <laughs> and uh, there's a very good reason for that, apparently. Bendy is the ink demon. Well, shit. And whatever those generators were, they just sparkled colour all over the place, which I suppose kind of makes sense, because a silent black and white animated cartoon character doesn't like colour. But I also collapsed as soon as those things started. I don't like to ask questions. I believe everyone's got their own business. You hear something, you leave it alone. But when you spend as much time in and out of a jug as I have, you learn to keep your mouth shut about things, you know? So when I saw this year out of a newspaper that reads, Gen Corporation looking for research subjects pays three fifty a week, I figured it'd be good for me. Easy money, right? With my record, you can't afford to be picky. But turns out something really wrong is going on in this place. I mean, I've seen dead people before. But here, death is like a way of life. A clockwork march. They wheel out the bodies, and they disappear down the chute. Forgotten men from the street, paid to die. Three fifty a week. Hmm. Right, so there's a security lock on that door. So somewhere around here, I'm going to find the pass code. I mean, I have to, otherwise I can't get through the door, and there's nowhere else to go. So, so we're keeping our eyes open for anything written down with a three-digit code on it. But there doesn't actually seem to be anything else in here. Can't get through that door. There's nothing on the counter. Let's check back the way we came. Um, no. No, that's... Uh, can I actually get back out? I mean, why would I want to? There's nothing there. Ah. <sighs> 
Yeah, I'll just press the button. I, I do have to actually find the combination. Huh. I must be missing something really obvious. Can't smash the crates and see anything revealed on the other side. I wonder if there's any significance to those books that we keep seeing scattered around. Because I don't seem to be able to actually interact with them, but I keep seeing them on bookshelves and cases. And so that's going to be a respawn point. It, wait. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't hidden that well, and yet I still took ages to find it. <laughs> okay. Well, what? Don't, just don't judge me, all right? And we're in. I'm not sure what we're in, but we're in. What is this? Don't like the look of this. Don't much like the sound of it either. What the hell is that? Oh, no you don't. Fuck off, Skeet. Come on, give me control of the character back. Come on! Come on! I've got places to be and they're not here. Uh, it just auto-saved. So that probably means I'm going to live. <laughs> what the hell is that? What is that? Can't get through that. I'm not sure why I'd want to with whatever the hell that was getting dragged around. Nope, can't get through that one either. Okay. Oh, there's one of what? Right. No, that door ain't going to open. Oh, there's some stuff in here. We'll take it. It's... What is that thing? I really probably don't want to get... S oh, no, 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 no. Hide. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it can do. I'm not in any rush to find out. Let's just sneak up and stealth kill it. That seems like the safest thing to do. Oh shit! Oh! 
Well, that didn't go according to plan, did it? So, new type of enemy. One that we haven't seen before. Uh, very, very disturbing kind of enemy, I have to say. I mean, the lost ones were pretty... Whoa, let's hide. The lost ones were... Oh, a gent pipe recharging station. I'm going to use that. I mean, the lost ones were kind of scary the first time I saw them. I, I did kind of shit myself, I have to admit. But I'm, I'm over the lost ones now. They're not that bad unless they come out in numbers. Those things, on the other hand... Um, I don't think I can kill them. They didn't seem to be taking any damage whatsoever from swinging the gent pipe at it. And I'm pretty sure I can't sneak up on them and stealth kill them either. I mean, it stands to reason. When you... Oh, nope, 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 nope. It saw me, it saw me, it saw me! <laughs> I mean, when something's dragging that many tails behind it, how are you supposed to sneak up on it without stepping on its tails? So, I, I think... I think these are unkillable enemies that you just have to avoid. Well, I say unkillable enemies. I'm hoping there's only one of them. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Uh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I mean, hopefully... The, ah, wait, there's a... I don't know where that goes. But we'll... We'll, we'll check it out. Okay, it just seems to be going back to where I... Oh, right, so this is a sneaky way of getting from where I was to where I was slightly later. If that makes any kind of sense. Yes. Thankfully, these things appear to be deaf. Um, so, rather than sneaking out in the open, I can use this to get from one side of the staircase to the other. Okay, that's, that's good to know. I could use some food... And its eye seems to cast a pool of light. So you can use that to know when it's a... Oh, no, no. It's about to come around a corner. <laughs> All right, wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, and slowly does it. I'm always overwhelmed by the urge to run when I'm in these kind of situations, and it's absolutely the worst thing to do, because it will hear you coming. Coming? Going. You know what I mean. What's this? Well, that's nice that you can see I'll know when it turns around without having to actually see it turn around because the beam of light will there we go yeah good to know and slowly easy does it tippy 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 toes <laughs> fight the urge to run and we made it and there's another hiding spot and we can search this locker and there's nothing useful in it. Alright. Unfortunately, while I was hoping that that was the only one of whatever those things are, uh, no, this whole place is absolutely crawling with them. Yep, here comes another one. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Remember, I can't kill them. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure I can't. Um, so, yeah, lots of sneaky, sneaky. And hidey, hidey. Oh, that's even before the ink demon turns up again. So, as uh, Private Hudson of the United States Colonial Marines was quoted as saying, we're in some real pretty shit now, aren't we? <laughs> but that's where we're going to call it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for watching. And as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.